Griefing must lead to repenting. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 9. As it is, I rejoice not because you were grieved, but because you are grieved into repenting. For you felt for a godly grief, so that you suffered no loss through us. Paul's letter was so strong and severe that often people got offended. Paul didn't mean to condemn them when he wrote it. His intentions were that people would change the way of living and begin life based on the principles Jesus taught. The people of Corinth were associating themselves with unbelievers who were indulged in all forms of idolatry. Paul warned them to separate themselves from such people. Somehow people obliged to his writing and they were feeling sad for their way of life. They decided to repent of their ways and their sorrows were worthy. The news about their changed lifestyle brought joy to Paul as they went through hardships in Macedonia. Paul rejoiced with them as their sorrow led them to a beautiful life that God expected. The question for us is this, are we comfortable when we read scripture passages that seems like a rebuke or as we hear a pastor preach? Do we get upset because they stepped on our toes or are we happy that such a warning would lead us to a better life? Often people turn around and get upset with the minister and cause little confusions forming small groups. They don't have godly grief but put everyone else in grief. If they take the rebuke in the right sense for their life's betterment and to please God, it would become a blessing. Godly repentance honors God and transforms our life. Grieving must lead to repenting. Amen.